If you've been following my guides for a while, then you're probably at least a novice at mind control seduction. You may have been trying out some of my techniques and have been getting results out of them. Now, here's a serious question. Have you ever tried a seduction technique on a woman only to have it miss the mark? Maybe it didn't work, or she found it weird, or it turned her off. If your answer is yes, then you know how painful and embarrassing it can be. And yet, here's the bigger question. Why would a woman resist mind control seduction in the first place? Here's the answer. More than anything, a woman's resistance is because of one thing. A lack of trust. Put simply, she doesn't quite trust you enough yet. And that's why she hesitates to let her hair down, relax, and fall into your trance. And that's what we are going to talk about today. When you can make a woman trust you, then your techniques will be 10 times more powerful. You're about to learn 3 new tricks that, after you learn them, you'll wish you knew years ago. And it all starts with the first trick, which I like to call the trust hack. Before we jump into that, answer me this. Do you want the ability to make women trust you completely, even if they're only meeting you for the very first time? If so, then take a quick moment to type yes in the comments below. That way, I'll know just how eager you are to take command of your love life, no matter what it might take. Go ahead, type yes in the comments right now if you agree. Are you done? Good. So, here's how the trust hack technique works. It all starts with the yes ladder mind hack, and if you've ever studied sales or persuasion, you'll have heard of this term before. Also, if you're well versed in Shogun Method, this will be familiar to you. Here's how it works. Every time you agree with someone, by answering yes or complying, your brain trusts them more. Salespeople use it all the time. They get you to answer yes to a question early on, even if it's unrelated to the sale. And once they do that, you're much more likely to say yes to the sale later in the conversation. Why? Simple. Because they've hacked your brain to trust them. That's the psychology behind the trust hack. And you, too, can use it on the women you're attracted to. And you should. The trust hack's formula is simple. Ask her a question, but assign positive outcomes to both yes and no answers. Here's an example. Let's say you want to invite a woman you just met to have a drink with you. Unfortunately, you sense she's resisting or hesitant. Most guys would say something like, Come on, it's my treat. Or, You'll love the mojitos there. Or, please? All of which will only make her even more resistant to you. So, instead of saying any of that, use the trust hack. Tell her something like, Have you ever tried the mojitos here? If so, great. I love it here too. If not, that's also good. You're about to learn why I love it here so much. Can you see and feel the difference? By phrasing your question in that double positive way, you hack her brain. And she'll trust you enough to think, Okay, it's just dinner. What's the worst that could happen? And so, she walks into the bar with you, and you now have at least another half hour of time to build rapport with her. Brilliant, right? When you feel a woman likes you, but you sense some hesitation, try the trust hack technique. It'll surprise you how easily it'll make her say yes to you. And by the way, before we move on to the second trick, have you already liked this guide? If you have, great. And if you haven't, that's also good. If you learned something new today and would like to show your appreciation, now's the time. See what I did there, by the way? Go ahead, click the like button now, and I'll tell you all about the second trick. Done? Awesome. So now, here's the second of the three tricks. It's a technique I call the Choice Trap. What's the Choice Trap? Well, it's another shortcut to making women like and trust you more. You might have experienced it before yourself, by the way. Have you ever had a fast food clerk say something like, Would you like your drink regular or upsized? No matter if you want to have your drink upgraded or not, you got Choice Trapped. The way they phrased their question blinded you to the third option, to not have a drink with your meal. So no matter what you chose, the restaurant still made a sale. Sneaky, right? Same goes for when an insurance salesman tells you something like, So, which insurance would you prefer? Basic or expanded? Most people choose basic. You get blinded from the fact that you can choose not to buy insurance. That, my friend, is the choice trap. 
and you too can use it to your advantage, especially when dealing with women. For instance, let's say you met a pretty girl and you're doing well with her. You sense the spark of chemistry, and yet you know if you don't ask her out soon, she'll forget about you. In this situation, most guys would say something like, How's your schedule tonight? Or, Let's meet up this weekend. To which, of course, the nice lady might politely say, I'm busy tonight, or I can't this weekend, but it was nice meeting you. Ouch, right? That's where the choice trap technique comes in. Instead of asking her out, tell her, I like you, you're chill, we should totally meet up again soon. Would you like to have dinner tonight, or is this weekend better for you? See how it works? Now, her brain will ping pong between the two choices and make her decision. The thought of declining doesn't even occur to her. And in the end, no matter what she chooses, you win, you get to see her again. That's the choice trap. Pretty good, right? Now, the third trick is the most powerful of all. If the trust hack and choice trap makes women trust you, this one makes them feel hooked on you. Can you imagine what it would be like to have women feel addicted to you like a drug? That's what you'll get when you master this third technique, which I'll reveal to you in a moment. Right now, if you've received some value from this guide so far, consider subscribing to my channel. I'm on a mission to help men achieve success and happiness in their love lives no matter what it takes. If you'd like to help, subscribe to my channel and help me reach more guys like me and you. Go ahead, subscribe now. Are you in? Yes? Then welcome to the club, my brother. Now that you're one of us, let's talk about the third technique. It's also the most powerful of the three, so pay attention. The third technique is what us Shogun Method practitioners call fractionation. It's one of the most powerful hypnosis techniques known to man. What makes it so powerful? Well, it's this. It pulls the addiction triggers in the brain. I'm sure you've experienced it before. Have you ever gotten addicted to something, like a TV show, a video game, a type of alcohol, or even a drug? What do you think caused the addiction? Here's the answer. It was the emotional roller coasters they gave you. The TV show and video game took you through a conflict, then a resolution, then yet another conflict, over and over. Alcohol and drugs took you on a pleasant high, only to bring you down until the next drink or hit. Emotional roller coasters are addicting. That's the science of it. And you know what? You can use this same brain mechanism for good things, and you should. Fractionation lets you inflict stress, pressure, and duress on a woman in a controlled way. Then you relieve it later on with an appropriate emotional high. You do this over and over throughout your relationship with a woman. In the end, she becomes hooked on you. She turns into a stronger, more loving, and more supportive version of herself, and she's all yours. That's what you'll get when you master fractionation. It'll amaze you with how easy it is to achieve. However, there's a catch. Fractionation is a rather complex technique. It's one that I can't explain in a short guide like this one. And that's why I lined up something better for you. At the end of this video, you'll see a link. Click on it to go to Shogun Method's online masterclass on fractionation. There, you'll learn everything you need to know about this amazing technique. And straight from the same mentors who taught me everything I know, too. If you ever wanted to learn the most powerful mind control seduction technique ever, this is it. So go ahead, click on the link, join the online masterclass, and start getting women hooked on you. If you can't see the link, find it below in the comments section. Do it.